Welcome to See Beebe's Bedtime. It's a very special evening because it's the last one of this year. We're the end of year thanking team. We come down from the stars every New Year's Eve to collect thank you cards. Yeah, then we place them under the thanking tree. <laughs> what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for my family. <laughs> I'm thankful for all of the lovely gifts I've received this year. And I'm thankful for all the time that I've spent with people that I love. Makes me really happy. <laughs> I know what makes me happy. My CBB's friend. So let's join some now. <laughs> Sarah and Duck. <coughs> Sarah. Duck. <coughs> Sarah and Duck. <coughs> We've spent New Year's Eve collecting thank you cards, wishes and dreams. I've got a card here from a girl who is thankful for the moon. <laughs> I love to watch the moon every night in the sky, looking down on me from way up high. All night long it shines so bright, a constant light throughout the night. Oh, the Kangas <laughs> love the moon too. Let's join them now. <laughs> <sighs> We're the end of year thanking team and we've had a very busy evening. <laughs> we've travelled far and wide collecting thank you cards. We have <laughs> and our work is nearly done. <laughs> All we have left to do is place the cards under the thank you tree. Oh, speaking of trees, let's head over to the night garden to visit Eagle Piggle. <laughs> We're at the end of our journey tonight. We've put our cards under the magic thanking tree. And it's time we said goodbye for another year. Thank you for coming with us. And thanks for a lovely year. We can't wait to see you next year. Good night. And, and happy, happy New, New Year. year. <laughs> CBB's Bedtime Story. Hello, my name is George. And you'll never guess what happens in your kitchen when you go to bed. Claire Fogers has written a magical story called Kitchen Disco, which has been illustrated by Al Murphy. Get ready to hear all about when your fruit bowl comes to life at night. At night, when you are sleeping, there's a party in your house. It's a pumping, jumping, funky bash when all the lights go out. In the quiet of our kitchen, when the moon is shining white, the fruit jump from the fruit bowl and they dance all through the night. Banana is the DJ. He plays the latest hits. He spins, he jumps, he somersaults, then does banana splits. The lemons are the show-offs. They really love to rap. They break dance on the chopping board and tap dance on the tap. The coconut is cheeky. He makes the others laugh. He dives into the washing up and has a bubble bath. So shake it like a mango, party like a pear, wiggle like an apple, hey, and dance like you don't care. It's called the kitchen disco and everyone's invited. 
So move your hips, shake your pips, and let's get all excited. The tangerines go bouncy bounce. They like to scream and shout. One tangerine spun round so much that all her juice came out. The pineapple is very cool. He wears his hair in spikes. He hangs out by the microwave, high-fiving fruit he likes. So shake it like a mango, party like a pear, wiggle like an apple, hey, and dance like you don't care. It's called the kitchen disco and everyone's invited. So move your hips, shake your pips, and let's get all excited. The grapes are such a silly bunch. They boogie in a conga. And when all the other fruit join in, the conga line gets longer. <laughs> the pears have big fat bottoms. They groove across the floor. The apples wave their stalks around and scream for more, more, more. So shake it like a mango, party like a pear, wiggle like an apple, just dance like you don't care. It's called the kitchen disco and everyone's invited. So move your hips, shake your pips, and let's get all excited. At breakfast time, the party slows. The fruit must go to bed. They climb into the fruit bowl and they rest their sleepy heads. So if you're in the kitchen and you hear them sing the song, then don't ask why and don't be shy. Come on and sing along. Would you believe that this regular yellow banana turns into a superstar DJ when we go to bed? Wow. I love a good disco, don't you? Maybe we'll go to one in our dreams tonight. I'll see you soon for another bedtime story.